Wilco was at the top of the world in 2003, riding high on the coattails of their widely acclaimed 2002 masterpiece, Yankee Hotel Foxtrot, and the release of their documentary, I Am Trying to Break Your Heart, a film about Wilco. It was in this moment that they pivoted and did something a bit unexpected. In truth, though, it wasn't all that odd, and we'll be unraveling that story in this video. I'm Andy Fenstermaker, host of Poetic Wax, a weekly music history series where I dig into the record collection I started in the 1990s to explore the history of an album, a song, or a band from within. I first stumbled upon the Minus Five in the early to mid-aughts, and it was the CD copies of the band's 2000 release In Rock and 2003's Down With Wilco that got me hooked. For Record Store Day Black Friday 2024, the band reissued Down With Wilco on baby blue vinyl to a limited quantity of 900, or maybe 1200. The official RSD website includes both numbers. In the world of alternative rock, few collaborations capture the explorative spirit of Americana like Down With Wilco. Released on February 25, 2003 by The Minus Five as the band's fifth studio album, this release unites the talents of indie luminaries from the Young Fresh Fellows and R.E.M. to the Posies and, yes, Wilco, among others. But behind its jangly guitars and darkly whimsical lyrics lies a story of chance, resilience, and a deep love for music. This is the story of Down With Wilco. No, the, the Minus Five was never a conventional band. Formed in 1993 by Scott McKay, a prolific figure in the Seattle music scene and a member of the quirky and energetic rock band, The Young Fresh Fellows. Mackay envisioned the Minus Five not as a traditional band, but as a musical collective, a revolving door for collaboration with his friends and contemporaries in the music world. The idea was to prioritize creativity and experimentation and fun over a strict band structure and consistency and lineup. He wanted an outlet that was less tied to the traditional dynamics of a band. This freedom allowed him to explore styles and ideas without the usual constraints, bringing in different musicians to shape the sound of each project. Though the Minus Five emerged during the height of Seattle's grunge explosion, Mackay took a markedly different path. While bands like Nirvana and Pearl Jam dominated the scene with their raw, angst-filled sound, the Minus Five leaned into a more eclectic and melodic approach. Their music often drew inspiration from 60s pop, folk rock, and alt-country, layered with Mackay's witty, offbeat lyricism. One of the earliest and most consistent collaborators in the Minus Five was Peter Buck, guitarist for R.E.M., Mackay and Buck struck up a creative partnership that became the cornerstone of the Minus Five. Buck's signature jangly guitar work became a defining element of the Minus Five sound, just as it had with R.E.M., and he contributed to most of their albums. John Auer and Ken Stringfellow of the Posies joined the early lineup as well. These powerhouse names in underground indie rock came together in Seattle's Crocodile Cafe a music venue managed by Buck's then-girlfriend and future wife, Stephanie Dorgan. Both the Posies and the Young Fresh Fellows were regulars at the venue. This meeting of the minds at the Crocodile set the stage for the beginning of the Minus Fives, now three decades long collaborative effort. In the early 2000s, McKay found himself increasingly drawn to Chicago's thriving music scene. It was here that he connected with Wilco, a band that was, at the time, redefining itself amidst the turmoil and chaos of recording Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. Jeff Tweedy and his bandmates had been pushing the boundaries of all country for a while, blending it with traces of rock and Americana. Mackay saw in Wilco the perfect collaborators for his next Minus Five project. The timing was serendipitous. Wilco had just emerged from a chaotic period. Their experimental mindset perfectly complemented Mackay's vision for what would become Down With Wilco. 
Recording sessions for the album took place in Soma Studios in Chicago in the last four months of 2001, with Jeff Tweedy and Wilco serving as the core backing band. Mackay brought the songs, but the sessions were loose and collaborative. The result was a sound that mixed jangly, birds-like guitars with lush, layered production. Tracks like The Days of Wine and Booze and Retrieval of You showcase Wilco's knack for atmospheric instrumentation, while Mackay's lyrics oscillate between playful absurdity and poignant melancholy. They're catchy and tinged with alt folk and Americana, with Tweedy credited as co-writer on Retrieval of You, the town that lost its groove supply and the family gardener. A flower bed to fall in as the moonlight breaks. Longtime collaborators Ken Stringfellow and Peter Buck returned once again, Stringfellow adding keyboards and harmonies, and Buck bringing his signature jangly Rickenbacker guitar sound. At its core, Down With Wilco is an album about the passage of time, the absurdity of life, and the fleeting nature of joy. The opener, The Days of Wine and Booze, sets the tone with its melancholic melody and dry lyrics about indulgence and regret. Songs like Retrieval of You and Where Will You Go are hauntingly beautiful, blending Mackay's introspection with Wilco's backing arrangements. But it's not all somber. Tracks like Life Left Him There feature playful lyrics and upbeat rhythms that harken back to that 60s pop. The result is an album that feels both deeply personal and delightfully experimental. The album's eclectic nature evokes that freedom that Mackay and his collaborators felt in the studio, and it's quite signature to what you get with any release by the Minus Five. Down With Wilco was met with critical acclaim, albeit relatively underground. It was praised for its ambitious production and the seamless blending of Mackay's songwriting with Wilco's distinctive sound. However, the album didn't dominate charts, which is honestly a fate far too common for many of the indie projects of its time. Instead, it found a loyal audience among fans of alternative rock's more experimental and Americana side. It also strengthened a bond between its collaborators. Mackay and Tweedy would go on to work together on future projects, including the Minus Fives at the Organ EP in 2004. Both had ties to the supergroup Golden Smog. Tweedy is a now past member, and Mackay is a supporting act, and the two came together on a number of other live performances. In the more than two decades since Down With Wilco was released, the Minus Five continued to thrive as a rotating collective. In 2025, their debut release, Old Liquidator, turns 30, with their most recent release as of the filming of this video being 2023's Calling Cortez. In 2017... A benefit was created for Mackay, who had suffered a stroke. In 2019, the band released Stroke Manor. Kind of a homage to that experience, maybe? Even though Down With Wilco was recorded in between the recording of Yankee Hotel Foxtrot and its release, Down With Wilco is often seen as leveraging the success of Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. Even though its success at the time of Down With Wilco's recording was really non-existent. It hadn't been released yet. Still, this album does remain a bit of a hidden gem. It's an album that feels timeless in its inventiveness and in its heart. One, if you're a fan of Wilco and Yankee Hotel Foxtrot and Americana, you should check out. Like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for more weekly deep dives into the history of bands, albums, and songs in my collection. Next, check out Another Americana Meets Alt Country Gem. I dig into the history of The Lioness by Songs Ohio. You'll want to check out that one next.